Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Jimmy. And you're probably watching this video because you're looking for the best way to communicate and connect with your people, whether that be your members, visitors, or volunteers. And texting is a great way to do that, and Clearstream makes it easy. Now, we offer multiple types of phone numbers, such as long codes, also known as 10DLC, toll-free numbers, and also short codes. Now for large churches or churches that do a lot of texting, a dedicated short code is the single best option. So Michael, why don't you explain a little bit about what short codes are? Yeah, I'm glad you asked, yeah. it's so convenient. Um, a short code is a five or six digit number that is used only and specifically by your church. So it's not a 10 digit local phone number, it's much easier for people to text to and receive. Um, the most important thing though is that it is the single best option in terms of like numbers you can use if you're a large church or if you're a church that just does a lot of texting. Um, it's the best option because it is carrier approved. It is the carrier approved um, high volume. So like you can send a lot of messages per second, high volume, non-carrier filtered, um, reliable kind of method for texting. Um, nothing, nothing compares. Um, it's also, it's important to note that short codes are managed and leased by an organization called the Short Code Registry. So that's who handles all short codes in the U.S. It doesn't matter if it's your church's short code, um, if it's our short codes, or if it's Uber's short codes. Um, it doesn't matter. All short codes are managed and leased um, by and from the Short Code Registry at the same price. Um, and so something else to consider is that, um, at least with Clearstream, um, if you're using a short code, if you're using a dedicated short code with Clearstream, it's not just one way mass texting um, like you might find with other organizations or other platforms. Ours is true two way communication and we built Clearstream kind of, you know, around two way communication. So you can send a mass text to, you know, a thousand people or 50,000 people with your dedicated short code with Clearstream, no problem. But people can also respond and we have powerful inboxes to help you and your team handle those conversations. Um, that's all included in Clearstream. And the last thing to kind of note of what, what dedicated short codes are is um, you can have basically unlimited keywords. So like words that people text into to you know get information from your church or if they're a first time guest, there's a lot of different ways that you can use um, keywords. You can have unlimited keywords um, with a dedicated short code and you have no limitations on what those words are. Um, so you're probably thinking like, oh, that all that sounds great. I'm ready to get a dedicated short code with Clearstream. Um, little caveat, and that would be the price. So they are much more expensive. So why don't you just kind of share a little bit, a little bit about the cost um, for dedicated short codes? Yes. Yeah. So a dedicated short code is going to be much more expensive. Um, but that being said, let me just say that we do not charge any setup fees. We don't charge any short code hosting fees, which is very uh, atypical for the industry. Mm -hmm. um, you won't have to sign a contract. There's no minimum plan requirement. Um, and also, if you ever want to move away from Clearstream and you want to keep your short code, um, we will make that process very easy for you. But nobody with a dedicated short code using Clearstream has ever moved away from Clearstream, even though we right. don't make them sign a contract. That's right. knock on, knock on hand, knock on skin. <laughs> That's right. That's true. So, let's break down the cost. Okay. So, um, the main cost is going to be what you're actually paying the short code registry. So, um, the short code registry charges either five hundred dollars or one thousand dollars a month. And that's paid either quarterly, uh, twice a year, or annually. Okay, so you're paying either $500 a month or $1,000 a month. Now, the difference there is if you're using a random short code or what we call a vanity short code, which is a five digit number that you choose. Okay, so if you're doing a random short code, you're paying $500 and you may get a short code like 13570 or something like that, something that's just very random. It's typically very mixed like that. Um, and you also won't know what that five digit number is until you've purchased it. Okay, but if you purchase um, a vanity short code, you're paying twice as much, um, but you get to choose what that short code is. So you could choose something like 44455 or 73737, you know, something that has a repeating pattern or that's, you know, even easier to remember. Okay, so you will pay one of those, you'll decide which one um, is best for your church. 
Um, so that's one cost. Um, there's also a $1,250 carrier setup fee. Now this is again, not something that we charge, but we actually pay this uh, when we're provisioning your short code. So we pay this to the carriers and then once your short code's live, we pass this cost on to you. So this is different uh, wireless carriers charge a fee in order to get your number connected to their networks. Okay, so then lastly is gonna be what you pay us, and that's gonna be your Clearstream monthly plan. So you can use any plan you want, and you can see all of those on our pricing page, and you can also upgrade and downgrade as often as you need to. So um, regardless of what plan you use, you're gonna have unlimited keywords if you're using a dedicated shortcode, um, but you'll wanna choose a plan based on your message volume. This is gonna be different for every church. Um, it just depends on how many messages you're sending to how many people um, each month. But you can upgrade and downgrade as often as you'd like. If you know Easter or Christmas is coming up, you can change to a bigger plan and then you know go back to your normal plan um, once that once you know that season is over. So that's a little bit of a breakdown of cost. So Michael, why don't you tell us why someone would use Clearstream as opposed to another provider? Sure, I will give you my unbiased bullet points <laughs> of why you should use Clearstream. Perfect. Um, so the first thing is, if you're looking at Clearstream, you're probably looking at other options out there, maybe um, setting up a, a dedicated shortcode with Twilio. Aside from the cost aspect, which is way more affordable with Clearstream, um, we actually have a full, powerful um, app texting application that, that is already built and can be used by your team um, and mobile apps to go along with that. But I would say most importantly is that, you know, our team, our product roadmap, our software is totally built around what churches need. We're a church-focused software company, um, and I, I don't think I don't think that can be kind of stressed enough. From the integrations that we build to the features, it's all based around how to help churches communicate and engage with their people better. That's what Clearstream does. That's that's all we do. So the second reason to consider using Clearstream for a dedicated shortcode would definitely be our support. Um, it's we consider it part of the product that we provide, not just kind of like an afterthought. Um, we have, I would argue, we have world world class support. Even though any company would say that, um, I would say even kind of putting a number to that, our average response time um, is usually under two and a half minutes, um, which is really good. But it's not just that we provide really fast response time. Um, our our support staff is very very knowledgeable in helping you you know, figure out how to do texting, troubleshooting, things like that. So another thing to consider is Clearstream's deliverability and reliability. So it's great to have like a cool, you know, powerful texting app and mobile apps that you can use. Um, but I would say our strength is really even more so in kind of behind the scenes of how fast we deliver messages and how reliable we deliver messages. Um, our message throughput is about 300 messages per second, which is insanely fast. I don't think anyone comes close to our message throughput. So if you're sending a message to 10,000 people, um, it's going to be delivered with Clearstream in probably less than 30 seconds. Um, and, and also for making sure that we can deliver your message to the most people possible. Um, you know, let's say you send a message to 10,000 people and within a fraction of a second, we get basically um, receipts back from carriers and we'll see like, okay, these 20 numbers failed um, for a number of different reasons. And we can actually auto retry that message on your account's um, local phone number. There's a number of things we do behind the scenes to basically ensure that your message is being delivered as fast as possible and to as many, as many people as possible. And with our metrics, we're very transparent if there is any kind of issue with your message um, should 20 people actually not receive your message, you'll see that in Clearstream. We don't hide those things. Um, and we're not built on, you know, we're not just a texting app built on Twilio. Again, we have a tier one aggregator connection with um, carriers, which, which helps us to have better reliability and deliverability. So the last thing to consider um, with Clearstream is that we have very transparent pricing. So if you're trying to think through, okay, what are, what are my ongoing monthly costs gonna be if I'm using a dedicated short code? Um, with Clearstream, you have really two things to consider. Um, the first is the cost of your number, and that's paid directly to the short code registry. 
So if you're using a vanity short code, so that would be you're choosing your own five numbers, you know, five five seven seven five or something like that. I don't know if that's that, that's available, but you get the idea. Um, that vanity short code is going to cost a thousand dollars a month. No negotiating it, no getting some kind of sweet deal. You're paying that directly to the short code registry, not to Clearstream. And the other monthly fee is going to be the cost of your Clearstream plan. So those two combined is going to be are going to be your ongoing, um, you know, costs for using a dedicated short code. Um, we don't sneak any any fees or surcharges, um, any cancellation fees. There's nothing like that. We're very transparent in 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 the in our pricing. Um, so why don't you really quickly kind of share with us what is the process for getting a short code going if I'm a church and I want my own dedicated short code? Yeah. Um, so keep in mind it's not going to be instant. Um, provisioning a dedicated short code typically takes between three and six weeks, um, and that's from filling out paperwork for the carriers, which we handle, to then waiting on each carrier to approve your short code on their network. So there's a little bit of a window there. We don't fully know how long it will take each time. It just depends on the carriers. Um, so if you have any questions or if you're ready to get started, um, just reach out to us and we'd be happy to help. Thanks. Thanks.